Hey guys, Paul from CP Addict here. We're in uh, Mooresville, Indiana at Firewire LEDs. We're here with the owner of the company, Brian. Um, we're gonna do an install today and this is really and truly kind of the one that I've been looking forward to all day. We're gonna install a set of the rock lights on my 96 model Hallmark camper. Um, you and I were talking about this last night sitting at your house. This is the side with the awning, everybody hangs out under. There's absolutely no light on the side of the camper. And so at night, campground and all that, I can't see anything. Um, so this is where your rock light kit is gonna come into play for me. Uh, most people put them in the wheel wells and things like that. I need them to be utilitarian for my camper, for off-grid for off camping. Um, mine has the battery in it already, and then on the roof rack on top is a 12 volt solar panel to charge the battery. So off-grid camping, with the lights, I'll be able to, outside I'll be able to see, you know, for lack of a better word, snakes and stuff on the sure. ground. Also any trip hazards that may be around the truck at night. Find your beer in the cooler too. Find the beer in the cooler, hang out under the awning, things like that, and then um, it's not gonna draw any power. So I could use it all weekend long, probably could use it all week long sure. at short bursts and never have a problem. And the best thing about it is it, it's all controlled with my phone. Yep. Um, so I don't have any switches or anything like that to install. If I'm in the truck, I can turn them on before I get out. If I'm in the camper and I'm getting out to grab something out of the truck, I can turn them on from inside yep. on my cell phone. So that's... Uh, it's great for backing in your parking spot at the campground. If you get a little bit, a little late, it's dark well, out, kick them on, you can see all the area. Well, Chris and I just recently went on uh, like a 7,000 mile trip up to Oregon and around. And a lot of people kind of followed that trip and we got into some campgrounds pretty late in the evening because there was long stretches, sure. you know. So you're 100 percent correct. These things have this has a little incandescent backup light on it, but you can't see anything behind you. Yep. So Absolutely. with these, I'll be able to get full access. Oh yeah, and with them being this high off the ground, they're a complete flood. You're going to get light 10, 15 feet off. Each well, and, and the best thing, I mean, obviously I'm short. Yep. You have to be really short from the beat in your eyes and blinding you. So this should be just about perfect to see the side of the truck absolutely out and everybody be able to to, to see. Well, and the other thing about being Bluetooth on our app, we can dim them down. So if you are sitting out here, you can dim them down. So I can just get on my app and turn turn the brightness down. Yep. The other thing too, and this is going to be kind of my high school side coming out, is obviously with the color change. If I want to have a party and do something different. I can set up to beat to music that's playing outside, or sure. I can change colors, or just kind of be the life of the party at the campground if I want to be Absolutely. with these particular lives. So you and I were talking earlier about how to install them. The underside of the camper here is, is made out of uh, plywood, so it's got a good base for us to basically just screw them right to. Absolutely. And then we're just gonna run them into the battery. The battery has wing nut terminals on it, so it's okay. Plug and play. So the, the worst case scenario, we've got to drill a couple of holes in the battery box to get the wires into the into the lights, and then we're just going to run in wire loom down the down the topper here. Yeah, the, it's going to be a lot easier than trying to move cabinets or the couch or whatever, and then feed everything through. So for this situation, I think the best thing to do is just run everything on the outside. Awesome. So really, truly, we only need some basic tools. We got some. Uh, well, we we kind of touched earlier on the product video. Mm -hmm that these come ready to go. Come with know. nuts and bolts. Yeah. So they, they come with nuts and bolts, but being as we're going to screw them into wood, we've got some shallow wood screws so we don't run up through a propane line or something like that. Again, taking all the fun. And then you also, at your company, supply wire loom. Yep. So we're gonna run all the, the lines in wire loom and then tie them up with clamps. That way we don't have any issues. So basic hand tools of a screwdriver, a drill to drill the holes in the battery box, and since those are wing nuts already and the wires already have the, the loops on the end, I mean, install should be really simple. Should be. So I guess let's get to it. All right, so figuring out where you want to put these, the best thing to do is go ahead and hook it up, Okay. power these on, and set them where you want. Well, obviously I'm a noob at this, and I didn't want to get them too far back and the light be wrong, or way too far in the middle, and it might be wrong then too. Yep. So that's a, I would have never thought of that suggestion of hooking them up first and then figuring we out. We get the question all the time on vehicles. Where do I put them in the wheel well? 
it's completely up to you. Some people don't put them in the wheel wells. Some people put them under the vehicle. Um, it's completely up to you. They're completely universal. You can put them absolutely anywhere. But what we always recommend, hook this to your battery, run all your wires, everything outside, plug them all in, set them where you want, mark them, take everything back apart, run all your wires, mount your lights, and plug it all back in. That way you know what to expect when you're done. And on these, our terminals, uh, we actually don't run terminals on these, okay. um, just because who knows what you're gonna put them on, where you're gonna put them. Right. So keep that in mind whenever you do order these, um, that you will need a ring terminal or a spade connector, or whatever you want to do. Some, some way to connect it's about yep. the only thing that you're going to need besides yep. the basic hand tool. Absolutely. So and you've got the um, the ring terminals here yep, for us to use, right? Yep. So I'll go ahead awesome. and get some of these put on. You can get the battery pulled out. So we had to take a short break. Looks like we've got a storm coming in here. So we back the truck in a little further so we can keep filming so we don't get wet. I melt when I get wet. Too sweet. So, I've seen you flood. Yeah. Anyways, you've got some ring terminals added to the controller. I've got the battery out. We want to put the lights up and turn them on, right? Yep, absolutely. So we'll take our splitter, go ahead and hook it up first. Um, and there, there is actually um, a specific way it goes on there. It has to, uh, so the colors actually work properly. There's arrows at the top too. Um, just line your arrows up and stick it together. So I need to look for the app on my phone, correct? Yeah. So without using the QR tab, what's the app under Firewire? Nope, it is not. It's actually a Bleedem app, B-L-E-D-I-M. 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 That's it? Yep. There's the app for you that don't use the QR tab on the... You can do it with just one, um, but we're gonna go ahead and stick both of them up there. That way we can make sure that we have plenty of coverage everywhere he wants coverage, so. These are uh, waterproof connectors. There are O-rings on there, so they do tighten up and fit really nice. So you can see those are turning on automatically. I'm right. I think all I see is red right now. Yes. Don't stare directly at them if you don't have to. You'll hit the Bluetooth button, search, and it pulls up. And once it comes up, you can hit your power and you feel a little bit of a vibrate. Yeah. Yep. That lets you know that you are connected. There's the white. There you go. Awesome. Just that easy. So we'll put them on white so we can figure out where they need to go. Okay. Turn my lights so. Oh, you got it. However you want it. I'm thinking. Taking wires towards the truck bed. Yeah. We can shut the light off from the shop just to see. Yeah. Let's do it. All right. So as you can see, you're yeah. plenty of distance out. So I'm thinking right here in the like front corner of this window, I'm probably right there close to the you know, back corner of that window or, or somewhere close to the foot bank. Sure. Yeah, and then if you want to change color, you can see kind of a little better visual as far as how far out they actually go. Yeah, so you can see. Yeah, yeah past that table. So. That would be a party at camp, right? <laughs> awesome. Cool. All right, we'll turn the lights back on and get these mounted up. And so we're just using a, a basic hand screwdriver and this wood screw because we don't want to force it into the camper and possibly ruin something or strip out the wood where the screw's not going to hold. So I've got, a, got it started where I want it. I want to back this out. Then I'm going to finish threading this in where it's got a nice, good, firm grip. Got it threaded in, Come back out. All right, that light is mounted. Really quick, really simple, really easy. All right, 
lights out. Both are mounted on this side. I'm gonna mount them basically in the same spot on the other side. There's no need to film it because this is gonna be a redundancy of this. We're gonna get the wires run to over here and get ready to plumb into our box. So stay tuned, we'll be back in a minute. All right, so we've got the rock lights mounted. One is mounted here, one is mounted right in here. Kind of a spread the light out. We're running our wire back to the battery compartment on this. So this trim here has screws already in it. So instead of drilling more holes in my camper, we just took original screws out. We've got some, some bigger and some smaller wire loom clamps here that we're using to hold them up. Every other screw, we put a clamp in. So it's really a pretty simple install this far, mostly hand tools and utilizing existing holes. We're fixing to get all the wires run to the back, under the camper, into the battery box. We're gonna figure out our area that we need to drill our hole in. All right, so we've got our right angle drill bit here and we're gonna take from the side of the box and go through to the inside right here, drill a hole to run all of our wires through. Once we do that, we're gonna silicone the hole up so that there's no moisture or anything that gets in the box going down the road. It'll take me just a few minutes to drill this and we'll be ready to start to put the battery back in and finish out the wiring. Now that we've got our hole drilled, we're gonna start running our wires in our battery box. All right, so we're down to the final step. We've got all of our wires run for all of our lights. They're running to the battery compartment. They're all tied into the main harness. What we're gonna do now is disconnect from the battery, get the battery put back in the, uh, the compartment, get the wires for the solar panel and the charging station hooked back up along with the uh, controller for the rock lights. And then we're gonna basically tuck all these wires in and get them nice and zip tied out of the way where they're not gonna get pink. Uh, where we've run through the hole, we take all the wires for uh, chafing, and then we've also run silicone on it to seal the box up and also to hold the wires in place. So basically we're down to less than five minutes of worth of work. So we'll get started. All right, so we've got the battery back in. We're gonna hook up our solar panel charger. All right, the last step here is Line up these wires in a nice neat bow. This is where Brian's expertise comes in. Put your box in there wherever you want it. Tie it up out of the way. I'm going to put it under. Three fish works pretty well too. I'm going to put it under the battery strap because that's going to hold it in place and not be quote unquote permanent. I decided I don't like that when I get home, I'll use either Velcro or 3M tape, stick it to the wall. There you go. Instead of sticking it to the main. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're gonna leave all these just in case we ever need to move anything or it doesn't hurt to have extra. Yep. Plus it'll avoid your warranty if you start cutting wires and short something out, so. There we go. Power on. Three. Three. Color change. Part. Now you can make a flash red, white, and blue. Speed it up, slow it down. And then this should be right. That's what you did on the way down. And then. So do you have a color wheel in here? I guess you put that in here. Yep. So whatever color you want. And turn them on. That's all. Easy as that. So as that. Awesome. Well, again, we appreciate your time, the use of your shop, your tools, your knowledge on getting this done. Absolutely. Along with the quality product that we can offer out. Can't wait to take these out camping, show them off, use them. Just, you know, absolutely the whole night. So, again, we appreciate it. No problem, thank you. Yes, sir. And as always, if you like our videos, don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you have any ideas for products you'd like us to review or our vehicles you would like to review, please send us a note to info at cpaddict.com or leave a comment in the comment section. Thanks.